This is children, and not children. And welcome back to Storytime with Thisby. Tonight we're going to be reading Love Monster by Rachel Bright. I'm pretty excited for this book too. I mean, it's no pop-up, but... But it's pretty cute. We got a sticky page. Oh no! There we go. This monster... Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in the world of cute, fluffy things. Which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, funny things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for somebody who would love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. It's like I wrote this. <laughs> he looked inside. And out. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. That's so sad. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then it didn't go well some more. Look at him! It didn't go well such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. I hope the story gets happier. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes, when you least expect it, love finds you. He has a monster love. And this was written in dedication for the monsters who found me and one slightly hairy one in particular. I'm assuming that's probably her husband. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me.